Hello and welcome to Crystal Queen. My name is Emma and today I'm going to be taking you through one of our bikini bling kits. So here we have a beautiful bikini. It's a peach colour with a metallic finish. We have some beautiful rhinestone straps. And this particular bikini is made by Lynn Berrigan of Body Shaping Basics. Um, we have blinged quite a number of Lynn's bikinis. Uh, she has been a swimwear and body shaping wear designer for quite a number of years. Uh, she is an award winning designer and the best thing that we love about her, other than her being a, a pretty awesome lady, is uh, she has really, really professional finishes. So uh, they're strong, they're sturdy, um, they look great, they fit great. And, uh, and she's a pleasure to work with. So, we have some different tools um, that I'll be working with. First of all, when you buy your kit, you will receive a number of items. You will get your E6000 glue. It will come with the tip, which makes it easier to work with. You will get your pencil, your pickup stick. You'll need to sharpen this, but you still want a flat tip so that you can pick up your crystals and place them. There you will get your 200 pieces of rhinestones, which we'll look at in a moment. And then there's some additional pieces that you can purchase off the website. You can buy a little wheel for storing your rhinestones. And you can also buy one of these shakers. They're just, uh, it's a little plate for you to hold your rhinestones on. It has these little ridges and a little spout for pouring them back into the packet. The great thing about this little piece of plastic is that you shake it and it turns your rhinestones the right way up, which is particularly handy if you've got acrylic nails on because you really can't turn them over very easily. So in this particular pack, we have three different rhinestones. It's a DMC Swarovski mix. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Swarovski um, Padparaja colour. It's a beautiful orangey pink. Padparaja is a colour of a particular sapphire found in Sri Lanka, in just that one area. It's beautiful. We also have Light Rose, just to bring up the pink in the bikini. That is also a Swarovski. These are both SS20 size. And then in the DMC, in a little bit smaller, SS16, we have a clear crystal. So that's going to help match it back with these rhinestone um, straps. So something else that you can think about is um, making yourself one of these very, very handy stretching boards. You can make it out of anything, plastic, uh, cardboard. I went to a $2 shop and I bought a big gift box and I just cut it up. So I've got this nice sturdy cardboard, it won't bend, and I've cut my own notches in it. Just so to hold the straps of the bikinis that I work with, it just holds it flat and stretched out as if, uh, stretched to where it would be if you were wearing it. Um, the benefit of working with a stretching board is that if you're going to be creating a really intricate design, you can design it as, as it would sit on your body. Also, if you don't use a stretching board and you're gluing on rhinestones, when you then go to stretch it over yourself, they can ping off. E6000 um, is a great adhesive. It's very, very strong. Um, it is a little bit fumey, so I would always recommend using it in a ventilated space. Um, but it is great for most fabrics, including stretch. You can also use Gemtac as well. Here's my stretching board for the bikini. Again, I just cut some little notches in the top, holds it in place, tied up at the back, and it's always handy just to get a few pins and just pin pin those cups into place into the cardboard so that it doesn't move when you are rhinestoning. 
It's also important to have really good light as well. So we have on our Bikini Bling page, we have a number of designs that you can use um, and reference um, that I have put together. With this particular bikini though, I'm going to be using this one. It's a beautiful design. It's just a dusting over the cups, a dusting over the bikini. Um, it's a great, great design if, uh, if you're trying it for the first time. It, um, you don't have to line up the crystals. You're not doing straight lines. It's fairly easy to achieve a beautiful look. Okay, so we are going to start with bikini bottoms. Uh, sorry I started without you, but um, the SD card was full and I didn't realize that I wasn't recording. So, what I've done is I've had a look at my design and I've seen this curve here and this point. And the easiest thing to do is the first rhinestone that I put down was this point. Uh, so that's the furthest point of that design. And I just dotted the glue, worked up, a little bit of a curve up this side it's not a symmetrical design so if you make it symmetrical then um, it's more noticeable if it's if it's uneven so just follow a bit of a curve I like to do one color at a time so now that I've got this shape that I'm happy with I'm gonna fill in and dot the rest of the um, Paradasha rhinestones one color at a time and then I'm going to do the clear which is quite the contrast and then I'm going to fill it with the light rose. So what I have done is um, I put the tip on my glue and cut the end, end off so there's a little bit of glue that's coming out. So when you're going to be gluing it, you just need just enough glue, probably half the, enough glue that's half the size of the stone that you're placing on top of it. We'll get a little bit more. Now you'll get a bit of a feel for how much glue you need. There we go. Too much glue and you end up sitting the rhinestone in a bit of a puddle. Um, not enough glue and the rhinestone could potentially fall off. Uh, you'll get a bit of a feel for it as you go. Better to have a little too much than not enough because you don't want to lose these rhinestones. So I've just placed some rhinestones on. I like to if your glue starts to come out on its own, we don't want any wastage, so I just pop a little pin head in there. And then I take my pick up stick and my first color rhinestone and I'm just placing them straight down onto the design. Easy peasy. So before I go any further, I just want to let you know that I have shared out my rhinestones. Um, I have put 50 um, Paradasha, 50 Clear and 50 Light Rose. That's because I'm going to have an even amount on each cup, the front and the back of the bikini bottom. So I've got 150 stones in total, 150, 150 and 150 on the back. So I finished the first color of rhinestones on the front here. So there's 50 pieces of SS20 Swarovski on the front. And now I'm going to go to my second color, which is this um, DMC SS16 Clear. And again, I'm just going to start down near the point. I'm going to follow this sort of curved line. 
doesn't have to be evenly spaced. And I'm going to place them with my pickup stick, nice and easy. A little bit too much glue on that first one. Be sure to push it into the glue so that the glue puddles just a little bit. And once you've got that shape, you can start to fill in your second colour. Here's a little close up for you. Okay, so now we are up to the bust. And again, we're just gonna have a look at the design and our first color stone, we will be creating this shape and then back filling with that color. And then we will enhance that shape with the next color and then the next. So we will start with the Padparasha. Again, I've separated my three colors. I've got 50 Padparasha, 50 of the light rose, and 50 of the clear. Just makes it easy because I know that 150 pieces will go on to this bust. So I'm going to, doesn't have to be perfect because it's not symmetrical. I'm going to pop a little dot there of glue and a little dot roughly the same place on the other side. And I'm going to create a bit of a curve with the glue. And use my pickup stick to place, whoops, place the first color. If your pickup stick isn't picking up, sometimes it's because you've got some glue on the bottom of it. And it's lost its, the glue has dried and it's not sticky anymore. So press those stones down into the glue. So you can see that shape, that curve. So I'll fill up here with the pad paraja. I might find that I have some left over. So I might, be, as I build it up and build it up, I might even extend the shape down a bit further over the um, over the bust line. We'll see how we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the clear added to the Padparasha. Again, started with that curve shape and just filled it backwards. And uh, as you can see, I've that original shape, I've now curved all the way down. So it's a stronger line. Now to add the light rose. The last three. Just at random, filling up the shape. One. Where was it? Two. And three. So there we go. There's the beautiful three color bikini bling bust. And 
and I will shoot next to the final shot of um, the second bust and also the back of the pants. So we've got the bikini front, the curved shape, filled it in with the different colours, one colour at a time. There's our close up. Too close. Three colours, Paradasha, Light Rose and DMC. Then we have our bikini bottoms. So this is the back. Same method, starting point down here and then moved up into a curved shape with the first colour, then followed the design with the second colour and the third. And then the front of the bikini, very pretty. And that is our bikini set done. Thank you for joining me. I'm Emma from Crystal Queen. And if there are any, you can head to our website um, to check out our bikini bling packs. Um, if there's any new color combinations you'd like to see, or if you have a bikini color that you want to want some advice on what colors to go with let us know it's also fun to play around with contrasting colors so if you had a blue bikini having red rhinestones on or if you had a yellow bikini putting green rhinestones on you don't always have to follow the same color with the rhinestones it's actually really effective to mix it up and uh, check out our website for more information regarding our designs, our costuming, um, our You Bring It, We Bling It specials, and more tools and accessories. Thank you.